Gold Coast era Chelsea Mansion in Muttontown, the historic Garden City Hotel, Gold Coast and Grumman Studios in Beth Page. These were just a few of the potential film locations Nassau County was promoting in its second annual film-friendly location tour. Nassau County Executive Edward Mangano says the film industry is booming in Nassau County and he hopes to build on its success. So I'm very excited that we're hosting a second uh, annual film tour here for the industry for TV and movie production. We showcase all that we have here in Nassau County, including two studios with nine sound stages. We're going to do full-length production from the Gold Coast to uh, the sandy beaches on the South Shore to the historic building that we stand in now to the state-of-the-art Hotel Allegra to our historic hotel, Garden City. We have a backdrop for every movie available. Again, the movie industry, we've been building on it, represented over 90 $90 million in the Nassau County economy last year. We're going to continue to build on that. We have more production days now. We're the number one uh, filming uh, uh, county, uh, more than Queens, Brooklyn, the Bronx combined. That's, that's a statement right there. So it's working. We're creating jobs. We're bringing dollars into our county and uh, we're having fun at it. So it's a great industry and we're happy to support it here in Nassau County. Actor and Nassau County resident Joe Ganascoli was also on hand to talk about the advantages of filming on Long Island. Today I'm here because um, we're uh, showing a lot of location managers in the film industry, uh, the great possibilities in Long Island, where to film and the accommodations that are available and um, you know some uh, very unique um, possibilities for scenes in movies or TV between mansions and historical sites, and uh, um, there's some great locations. Mangano then awarded Ganascoli the key to the county. After an official group photo, the location scouts and filmmakers boarded the bus for a two-day countywide tour that showcased Nassau County landmarks and possible film locations. One of the stops along the way was the historic Gold Coast era mansion named Chelsea. It's one of the few surviving Gold Coast mansions that's open to the public and that allows filming. The Nassau County Film Office says these mansions are great film locations. Long Island is known for its Gold Coast. Of course, we have the suburban areas, and, and one of the hottest places is the Correctional Center and whatnot, but people, when they think of Long Island, a lot of times they do think of the mansions. Um, I know that the Great Gatsby is actually shooting in Australia, but they're going to be coming here because there's some things you just can't duplicate, you know, the exteriors of some of the mansions and whatnot. Um, so we have a great number of those, uh, not as many as we used to, sadly, but we still do have a number of incredible Gold Coast mansions, and it still does attract the, the film companies here. I mean, it's, it's just a wonderful thing. Uh, sometimes they're used as other things than what they originally were, uh, but you know, a lot of, everybody's always looking for money to keep the estate looking wonderful and, and you know to keep the structures up and whatnot. So you know, a lot have become film friendly over the years. A lot of our Nassau County residences that we have, these magnificent mansions, are perfect for different film shoots. Um, for instance, our Sands Point location is a great English feel. You get an English castle, where Chelsea has a very French European. Uh, countryside type of location and it works beautifully for different look we've done many shoots here you know this is the second year Debbie has done Debbie and, and Mary have done this uh, tour and we've had repeat business from them uh, people have remembered the house and actually have come back during the day daytime hours just to see the grounds and have fallen in love with the place another highlight of the tour was Grumman Studios and Beth Page the stages are made out of converted historic airplane hangars once used to build Grumman aircraft, and now the building has found a second life as movie studios. I think it's very important to show what we have. You know, I mean, we, we have uh, two sound stages that rival some of the stuff in Hollywood or New York City, so it's, it's good for them to see, you know, that we are basically trying to accommodate the, the film industry. And, uh, you know, we could, you know, I think we could be a good competitor to New York, even maybe more so because we have the parking, you know, we have better rates. The group then wrapped up their two-day tour with a visit to nearby Gold Coast Studios where the recently released film Man on a Ledge was shot. This is our second year doing the tour and we were happy to host it again and we think it's a great way to get people out to Long Island, especially to Gold Coast Studios, to see what we have to offer and just to really get people more excited about filming here in Nassau County. Um, everybody was really excited about the space, they had a lot of questions, were we in the tax credit zone, which we are, um, you know, we are expanding into four more new stages, they had a lot of questions about our new space. Um, 
And yeah, just really excited to, and happy to be here. The group also got to see the newest stages of the studio, which have some impressive features. The new studio, um, there's going to be four new stages. The big stage is 40,000 square feet with 50 foot ceilings, and there will be two underwater tanks to do filming. Um, uh, yeah, in the water. So it's exciting that there's nothing else like that in New York. So it'll really make us stand out. It went really well. I mean, the, the scouts were all exhausted, the managers, the filmmakers, but they've seen so many great sights. They're so really thankful. Um, I mean, the icing on the cake was Grumman Studios and Gold Coast Studios with the new studio they just added. Um, and they have a water tank and whatnot. So everybody's really excited about this. It was pretty terrific. You know, we had Joe Ganascola uh, from The Sopranos was with us and, uh, you know, it gets attention, people get excited, people get autographs, you know, he's from the area, he grew up in the area, he loves the area, so for him to talk about it, you know, makes people feel, you know, really excited. They know that Nassau County is in it, you know, that they're in the game. We have everything they want, they've seen the office buildings, uh, they've seen the atriums, they've seen the mansions, they've seen these huge studios that aren't going to be going away tomorrow, they're here and they're going to build on them, so they're pretty excited about coming out here knowing that if they set a you know if they set up a stage you know something in a stage and then they they go somewhere else they can go and shoot at the beach or go and we have it all so it, it makes sense to stay right here in NASA all together so it works really well and they're, they're very excited about it also this tour shows that we want them here you know that the county executive worked with the industrial development agency to put this together to show them that we have all these things we're going to take you you know we're going to get everything donated and wine and dine you and and uh you know you'll get to see what we have and how serious we are and when you make a personal connection it really does work well because they know they feel really comfortable asking you just about anything if you can do it great and usually we can well, we put this together so that we could showcase Nassau County and the great locations that we have. We have so many diverse locations um, in Nassau County, from the South Shore to um, our parks and our golf courses and our museums and our mansions. I mean, there's just, we have so much here. We could have kept these people here for five days. And we really just had to put two really impactful days together for them based on everyone's schedule. And we just took them to as many different locations that we could um, think of that would give them a different array uh, uh, so they would understand that there was a lot of variety here. So um, I think it went terrific. I think um, the people were extremely, the filmmakers were extremely interested and spent the time very wisely. They were really working at each location and taking notes and taking their own photos and uh, really asking a lot of good questions and um, it was absolutely a success. Yeah, oh, really helpful because it got me thinking about Nassau County. That was part of it was a, a, the piecemeal thing I had where I had worked here and worked there but in terms of thinking about the whole of Nassau County like how you can go out there and find more of it and use more of it. So it was good. The tour was really good. These stages are a big deal. They're big and there's a lot of them. So I think that for jobs that come in big and need to build big, they'll be really good. Uh, I think that uh, they have a huge amount of potential. I thought the tour was very helpful. I thought that it was very informative. The, the main thing is the awareness of what locations are out there and what are film friendly. Who's going to allow you to film? Who's going to allow you to shut down a business and, and film for a couple of days if that's, if that's the case? And so once you build that awareness and you could tell producers and directors, hey, this place is, is a great place to film, bring your crew out here and, and, and you'll have a successful shoot, then, then that's, what, that's what the draw is. Uh, this is my first time actually seeing Grumman, uh, the Grumman Studios, and uh, I was very impressed by the size of them. I always heard how big they were, but I've never actually seen them. Uh, so the size of, of these actual spaces are, are very key to what productions are looking for. Uh, Gold Coast as well, I saw their, their new space with the air conditioning and everything like that is also very key to a successful studio. Uh, it's close to New York, New York is always is in dire, you know, dire needs of uh, studio space, it always, they always run out and uh, you always pay a premium when you're closer to Manhattan. So if there's a reason uh, for people to come out here and film, especially because it's cheaper and they have more space, it's easier to park here, it's easier to get your crew here, then, then they will also be successful in the future. I think what we all came away with, um, myself, everyone else, is that Long Island has a lot to offer, specifically Nassau County. So I think 
Nassau County has a lot of potential for you as the filmmaker, as the artist. Whether you can afford it or not, it's good to know what your resources are. It helps your creativity. So you never know, one day you may have that grant, you may be able to find your investors, you may be able to make that film that you always wanted to make, and you'll be able to do it here locally on Long Island, specifically in Nassau County. So I say that that is worthwhile, knowing what is around you, what is within your reach, what are the resources that are available to you. So it's a win-win for everybody. I'm a scout and manager since 15 years, and uh, though I have seen a lot of Nassau County, I, um, I'm really grateful that I could go on this tour, because especially the properties that have been built within the last five years, it's really great to see them. And um, I have seen, like especially today, uh, to, to be in the hotel um, and to see the stages. It is really helpful that the Nassau um, Film Commission is offering that. This, this is very special and I will bring clients to the places that I have seen rather than to places where I only get photographs from. So it had a big, big effect on me and I, I like the spirit here in Nassau County. It's, um, there's a genuine uh, enthusiasm that's, that's just I really appreciate. For more information about the Nassau County Film Office and their film-friendly tour, you can check out the website nassaucountynewyork.gov slash agencies slash film dot com. Chris Kalor reporting.